I'd like to briefly talk about the uh, convert menu here and what it does. So if I open up convert, it gives me several options. So for example, 180 degrees, if I convert that to radians, that should be pi radians. Let me just hold the convert menu open here. If I convert pi radians to degrees, that'll be 180 degrees. If I want to convert polar to rectangular, so let me enter in my uh, polar value. So say I'm 10. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to enter in the angle first. So 45 and 10. So 10 at 45 degrees. Go to the convert menu and convert that to rectangular, and I get 7.07 .07 and 7.07 .07 for my uh, X and Y values. And of course I can convert that back to polar using the convert to polar function. One last thing on this row is the hours, minutes, seconds. So to do this, so this is our minute seconds in decimal form, or it could be degrees, minutes, seconds, if you're doing latitude, longitude uh, conversions, and it's being converted to hours, minutes, seconds format. So I'm going to switch the display to fixed, and then do four, and go back to my uh, conversion menu here. So if I've got, say, 5.5 hours, what is that in hours, minutes, seconds? That tells me it is five hours, 30 minutes, and zero seconds. Or if I have a latitude that is 106 degrees, or sorry, a yeah, longitude, 106 degrees, um, 15 minutes, 24 seconds. I would enter it in as minutes, minutes, seconds, seconds. And then convert that to decimal format. And it tells me what it is in decimal. Okay, there is another row to this menu. These, I would say, are primarily used in programming. So if I hit that, that would give me the integer portion. So it would give me 106. If I hit FP, that would give me the fractional portion. If I hit round, that would, uh, let's see, swap those. Well, I thought it would round to the next, uh, oh, I see. Yeah, it, it rounds, but it rounds to the display. So, for example, um, let me just enter in pi. So if I show the whole number, that's what it looks like. If I round it, it rounds to whatever I have shown on the display. So now if I show the number, it's rounded off the last portion. Okay, absolute value. Um, I can take the absolute value of that. Or that could be useful for entering in, say, a complex number. So I've got 14 uh, and 45 complex. Now I take the absolute of that, I get 14. Or if I change my mode to rectangular, let's do change that into a complex number and take the absolute of that, I get 14.8661. All right, this one shows what the sign is, so it returns a one if it is positive, and if it's a negative number, then it returns a negative one. And then lastly, mod is the value, it is the remainder of y divided by x. So if I have seven divided by five, the remainder of that is two modulus. All right, so that's the convert menu.